Mr. Capri, you were going to tell us about something happened to you at preview. Yes, I had a very disastrous preview at the time of one of my most important films, and the pic that picture was Lost Her Eyes. We ran that picture in the projection room the first time we put it together and uh, invited all the people from the studio, all the Lanceman and everything else. We were piled three deep in that projection room. And we ran it and it was three and a half hours. The pictures. And uh, we thought, well, this has got to be the world's greatest picture. Everybody just uh, was completely uh, uh, to, you know, way up on cloud nine. Yeah. So Harry Cohn sent for the, the, his New York executives and said, come on out, you so-and-sos, I've got a, something great. But he was just smart enough, this was Cohn, he was just smart enough that we probably should once try it in the theater before we, before we really blew our tops about it. With a real audience. Yeah. So he said, let's take it out for a sneak preview. So we took it to Santa Barbara. He says, if we can knock off those Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara snobs, we got it made. You see? So we, up, we go up to Santa Barbara, he and his wife, and uh, my wife and I, and uh, that's all. Raining, and we put the picture in major preview, nobody knew what was coming up, but uh, the picture started. And it's gone about five minutes, and the, the audience begins to laugh. Well, they shouldn't, there were no laughs. Uh, mm. <laughs> then they began to laugh a little bit more, a little bit more, and finally they're, they're laughing at everything that's happening on the screen. Well, I'm, I'm died, I'm died. I get up out of the chair, go on out in the lobby for a drink of water, completely nonplussed. I didn't know what, I was in a state of shock. Oh. I lean down to get a drink of water, and another man comes out, and, and this is then drinking this water, he says, did you ever see such a star thing with that, that Fu Manchu thing they're showing? And I, oh, I, I, just, I just rushed out of the theater. <laughs> And there was a big clock out, outside this theater, mm -hmm. big four-sided clock, and uh, just, just ten minutes there, there, and the picture had it three hours and a quarter set to go yet. And I walked <laughs> up and down in this rain, and, uh, oh. and I, I went into a drugstore to get a Coke. You know, my hair was wild, and my head was wild, and I'd get a Coke, and I'd come back in, and the band, man began to worry, you know. I, I looked like a, a drug fiend, something, you know. Yeah. So I was waiting for this to, to, to come out. Well, three hours walking up and down that rain, and they, th then they start coming out. And as you start coming out, you can hear them talking. Oh, what, you ever, you ever see, what a terrible thing. Did you ever see anything like that in my life? They should be shot, whoever made that picture. This is where you can hear these. I ran to the car. This is Lost Horizon? Lost, yeah. lost Horizon. Yeah. And my wife and I and Harry Cohen and his wife, and we get in the car, and we drive home, and everything is very, very dead, of course. Yeah. And this was Harry Cohen. This is what, this is what he was. He said the, th the right thing at the right time. He said to me, Frank, I still give you that seven-year contract. Well, nothing, you, could, you couldn't beat that for, for, for a little, you know, uh, uh, enthusiastic uh, yeah. encouragement. barb. It's encouragement. Yeah. So I went off to the hills. I went off to the uh, Big Bear. And I started walking around the hills trying to figure out what 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 had happened to our beautiful, beautiful Lost Horizon that they laughed at it. And I, after two days up there walking around by myself, I came back to the studio and said, Harry, let's preview the picture again tonight. He said, well, no change. I said, yes, I've made one change. I've put the main title on the beginning of the third reel. And let's preview it again. That's all I, it's the only thing I could think about. I mean, there was no printing at all at the beginning, just? No, I just put the main title. Yeah. At the beginning took of the third the reel, I just took the first, reel, two, first two reels out. Oh, I see, and started yes, the movie the farther in. That's the only I see. change. Yeah. And he said, but we can't afford it. I said, this is it. If, if it doesn't go this way, I don't know what. We, we, we just got a complete bomb, that's all. And so we took it down to, uh, to uh, Wilmington, and it, it goes on the screen, and, this, and there is the picture that finally went out. Totally different picture. They didn't laugh. They didn't do anything. They were completely enthralled. It was a different show entirely. But do you still know why? How do you explain that? Well, I, but, but of course, we came back, you know, on cloud nine. Now we're really on cloud nine. I, we came back, and I went right back to the cutting room and took those two two reels right in my hot little hands. They went down to the incinerator, and they were <laughs> nitrate. They were nitrate filled, and I threw them right into the incinerator and went woo. Hollywood. <laughs> It lit up the Hollywood night sky all over the place. That much nitrate there. would blow Columbia off the map. I well, it really blew, blew but I, it did. So uh, there's no record of those. Now, wouldn't you, you sort of wish now you had them to see what was so... I can't remember what was in the 
You were that glad to get rid of them? <laughs> yes. I wonder how you knew the, where, why those were the things that were wrong. I don't know. They, those, these are decisions you make. That's Something all. just told you. How did you know not to take out reels two and three instead of one and two? I, I don't know what would have happened if I had taken a picture. Would have probably been better. <laughs> That's a great story. It's a story about instinct. Yeah, so uh, whenever you yeah. got a picture that isn't going, burn the first two reels. <laughs> <laughs> We just, just solved the problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, you learned something. We'll be right back after this message.